Well, it's always political season in America, but now then it's becoming election season, which is politics on steroids. And in America we have Muslims who are running for office. I'm suggesting that you go to where they present their ideas and ask them three questions. Now let me tell you what you're not going to get when you ask questions of a political candidate. You're not going to be able to ask that knee-breaking question which causes his candidacy to dissolve in front of the room. Forget about that. You're also not going to probably be able to ask follow-up questions. You need to ask questions that are not about the candidate, but questions that plant doubt in the minds of the audience. They're the ones you're trying to influence. The first thing I'm suggesting you bring up is political Sharia. Do it like this, or any other version you like. Sir, as a Muslim, you have your Sharia law, which contains both political ideas and religious ideas. Do you find the political ideas found in the Sharia to be useful in your political thinking? This is a very neutral question, and it might even produce some interesting and positive answers. The second idea to introduce into the room is the Muslim Brotherhood. It's short and easy. Sir, Obama is much in favor of the Muslim Brotherhood. What is your position on that organization? The third question is not actually a question but a political idea. This brochure, which is Voices for the Voiceless, comes off my website, politicalislam.com. If you go to the lower left corner, you'll see a button which you can push, which will allow you to download the brochure. Now let me tell you, this brochure does not contain anything about Islam, Muslims, or Jihad. Instead, it introduces the idea that the greatest human rights tragedy in the world today is the persecution of religious minorities. What is not stated but true is that this is happening in Islamic lands, and the audience knows this. So what you're doing by handing out this brochure is introducing another political idea into the mind of the audience, the persecution of all religious minorities under Islam. That means that we have three ideas that we can bring to a political candidate who is a Muslim. The idea of political Sharia, the idea of the Muslim Brotherhood, and the idea of the persecution of religious minorities. You want to introduce these ideas to plant doubts in the minds of people who are thinking about supporting him, and to see what he will say about these ideas. Thank you.